In this week's Science and Environmental Wrap, Purple lands on Comet, and study shows vaccination leads to decline in pneumococcal disease. The European Space Agency landed a probe on a comet on Wednesday. This is the first in space exploration and the climax of a 10-year Odyssey. However, an anchoring system problem may hamper planned investigations into the origins of Earth and the solar system. The 100 kg lander touched down on schedule at about 11 a.m. after a seven-hour descent from its orbiting mothership Rosetta, now located a half billion kilometers from Earth. A new study shows rates of invasive pneumococcal disease, including cases caused by antibiotic-resistant bacteria, have fallen substantially in South Africa following the introduction of a pneumococcal conjugate vaccine in 2009. The release of the study by Viz University and the National Institute for Communicable Diseases coincides with World Pneumonia Day, commemorated annually on 12 November. The study titled Effects of Vaccination on Invasive Pneumococcal Disease in South Africa is published in the latest edition of the New England Journal of Medicine. Although the majority of childhood pneumococcal deaths occur in Africa, evidence of the potential impact of pneumococcal vaccines in routine use has largely been drawn from high-income countries. The impacts of climate change will significantly affect food security, water availability, human health and ultimately economic growth in Africa. This is according to the fifth assessment report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The panel found that Africa's climate is already changing and that impacts are already being felt. The report was under discussion at the opening of the four-day climate change dialogue at Galaga State in Midrand. And finally, the Dino Expo is currently taking place at the Johannesburg Botanical Gardens. The expo combines a spectacular outdoor showcase of life-size dinosaur replicas with a theatrical performance involving realistic animatronic dinosaurs dubbed the untold story of the African dinosaur mystery. The giant prehistoric reptiles will be brought back to life by artist extraordinaire David Huni, who collaborated with Wits University's paleontology department. On display will be Tyrannosaurus rex, one of the largest land carnivores of all time, as well as a number of dinosaur species discovered in South Africa. For more science news, visit www.sabc.co forward slash news.